Hello, students. A very good evening to all of you. So today our point of discussion will be pair of straight lines. Okay, we will do the first exercise from Arihan's book on this topic. So here comes the first question. It is saying the lines given by the equation 2y square plus 3xy minus 2x square into x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 form a triangle. And uh, we have to comment on the triangle, whether it will be equilateral or a right angle triangle or isosceles triangle or obtuse angle triangle. So let me write the given equation first. So it is given that 2y square plus 3xy. Uh, minus 2x square, okay, this whole thing multiplied by x plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now, this equation is giving, giving us the sides of the triangle, right? In that also, if you see this first bracket, this will be giving a pair of straight lines, right? This will be giving the pair of straight lines. And since uh, this is a homogeneous second degree equation, so basically it will give a pair of straight lines passing through origin, right? These uh, straight lines will pass through origin, okay? And uh, so these, uh, these two lines will be the two sides of the triangle and one third side will be this side. It means third side of the triangle, we can uh, write the equation for that third side from this equation. So this is the basically the third uh, side of the triangle. And from this first bracket, we will be having the two sides of the triangle. So if you see, if we uh, factorize it by splitting the middle term, what we can get this uh, two into two minus four. So basically we can break it into two y square. This middle term we can write as four x y minus x y minus two x square is equal to Okay, or uh, not equal to, I'm leaving as it is. I'm keeping it as an expression. So uh, what I can do, I can take two y common from here, then y plus, uh, y plus two x, right? And from here, if you see, we can take x common. So y plus two x. So y plus two x, okay? And two y minus x. So basically, uh, this will give us the two sides, y plus 2x equal to 0 and this 2y minus x equal to 0. This will be the two sides of the triangle. If you observe here, the slope of this line is how much? Minus 2. And the slope of this line, the slope of this line is how much? Uh, 1 by 2, right? And if you see, the product of m1 and m2 is coming out to be minus 1. So basically, this line and this line are perpendicular to each other. So uh, regarding triangle, we can comment that the uh, set triangle will be a right angle triangle. Now, basically we don't need to uh, do these lot of things, right? Because if you observe this, if you observe here, so this is a bit of theory part. So if you observe this equation, 2y square plus 3xy minus 2x square, right? Here, if you see uh, the value of A means A is minus 2 and B is 2. So basically, A is what? Coefficient of X square. Okay. Coefficient of X square. Coefficient of X square is minus 2 and coefficient of uh, Y square is 2. And here, coefficient of Y square is 2. So if you see the sum of A plus B is coming out to be 0. Right. So whenever, whenever this uh, uh, homogeneous equation in second degree and uh, whenever uh, this uh, product of, sorry, the sum of the coefficient of x square and y square comes out to be zero, it means the given straight lines, the given pair of straight lines will be perpendicular to each other. The given pair of lines or you can say given pair of straight lines will be perpendicular to each other. So by observation also, we can uh, answer this question. But uh, okay, by our calculation, also we observe here. Okay, so uh, if you have uh, well uh, 
command on this pair of a straight line, you can simply uh, take the answer as right angle by saying that the coefficient of x square, the sum of the coefficient of x square and y square is coming out to be zero. Hence, the pair of a straight lines will be a right angle. Uh, pair of a straight lines will be perpendicular to each other. And if the two sides of a triangle is perpendicular, definitely it will be a right angle triangle. Okay, so moving to the next question. See, uh, here it is saying the area of the triangle formed by the lines, this and this. Okay, so basically this y square minus 9xy plus 18x square is equal to 0. Obviously, this will give us a pair of a straight lines passing through origin. Pair of a straight lines passing through origin. And our uh, third equation is y equal to 9. So first, uh, let's write the equation uh, of this pair of straight lines individually. It means what I can do, we will be writing the equation of uh, straight lines from this equation. So if you see 9 and, uh, okay, we can uh, break, we can split the middle term as y square minus uh, 6xy minus 3xy plus 18x square is equal to 0. So taking y common from the first two terms, we will have y minus 6x. And here what we can take, we can take 3x common. So y minus 6x and this equal to 0. So basically y minus 6x. Okay. And y minus 3x equal to 0. So y minus 6x equal to 0 will be the one line and y minus 3x equal to 0 will be the other line, right? Now we have to uh, find the area of triangle formed by these lines. So basically, if we, uh, if we draw a rough diagram for this, okay, so this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis. Somewhere here, we will have y equal to 9. Okay, this is our y equal to 9 line. And uh, this line will be y equal to 6x and y equal to 3x, right? So basically, if you see this line will be your y equal to 6x, okay? So the slope of this line is higher. So y equal to 3x and this line is basically what? Y is equal to 3x. Basically, the question is asking this thing, right? The area of this triangle. We have to find the area of this triangle O, A and B. We need to find the area of this triangle. Now, what we can do, uh, if you see, we can have the coordinates, right? We can have the coordinates of this point A and B. How? Uh, coordinates of A will be, coordinates of A will be, um, the Y coordinate is definitely it's 9. Okay. And when you put 9 here, when you put 9 here, it will be 3, 9 by 6. Okay. So 9 by 6 means how much? 3 by 2. So the x coordinate of A will be, uh, the x coordinate of A will be 3 by 2 and its uh, y coordinate will be 9. Similarly, what will be the coordinates of our B? So y equal to 9, definitely the y coordinate will be 9. And you have to solve this thing. y equal to 3x is equal to and y equal to 9. So keep uh, put the value of 9 here. So x will be 3. So the coordinates of B will be this 3 by 9. And anyhow, you know the coordinates of Z, uh, origin. It's 0, 0. Now, the area of triangle, area of triangle uh, AOB, right? This is what we need to find. This will be equal to half times base. Base means this AB, we can take the base and uh, this height. Okay. This height, suppose I am naming it as D. So half AB into AD. Now half AB is how much? AB will be uh, 3 minus 3 by 2, right? So it will be 3 by 2. And what is the height? This AD will be how much? Y equal to 9. Okay, the Y coordinate of A and B is 9, no? So its height will be, means AD distance will be 9. So this is coming out to be 27 by 4 square unit. So see where uh, is this option available in the question? Yeah, it's uh, there in option A. So our area of triangle AOB will be 
27 by 4 square unit. Okay. So moving to the next question. It is saying the equation 3x square plus 2hxy plus 3y square equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. The two lines are, okay. So the given equation is 3x square plus 2hxy plus 3y square is equal to 0. Okay, definitely it will represent a pair of straight lines which will uh, passing through the origin. Okay, now the question is asking the two lines will be real and distinct, real and coincident or real and distinct if this and this, real and coincident if this and this. So if you compare it, if you compare the given equation with our uh, standard uh, second degree homogeneous equation, so ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to zero. This is our standard uh, homogeneous second degree equation. So on comparing, you can see the value of a is three. Okay, the value of b is three and definitely h is as it is. Okay, 2h is equals to 2h. So uh, there is no change in this h. h is as it is. We have to find the relation between h and a, b so that uh, what will be the nature of the lines? What will be the nature of the lines compare, uh, which are uh, which are derived from this equation 3x square plus 2hxy plus 3y square? So for this standard equation, if h square is greater than ab, okay, if h square is greater than ab, then then the pair of straight lines, then the pair of straight lines. We have uh, we have learned this right. Uh, hope you all are uh, remembering. Uh, hope you all are remember uh, remember that uh, that theory part. So if h square is greater than a b, our pair of straight lines will be or the pair of straight lines are real and distinct. Right? Are real and distinct. And what if there is an equality sign? If h square is greater is equal to a b, if h square is equals to a b, our uh, pair of straight lines are coincident. Pair of straight lines, okay, are coincident. So hope uh, you all are aware of this. So coincident, coincident. Okay. Now here, if you see, uh, h square is greater than a b. So in our case. What is the AB? A is 3 and B is 3. So if H square is greater than 9, if H square is greater than 9, then the lines will be real and distinct, right? So real and distinct if H square is equal to 9. Option B is correct anyhow. Real and coincident if H square is greater than 3. No, this is not the case. A real and distinct. No, for real, for the pair of straight lines to be real and distinct, h square should be greater than 9. From here we get. So this is not the option. A real and coincident if h square is equal to 3. No. If h square is equal to 9, then the pair of straight lines will be coincident. So this option is also wrong. So the only correct option is this option B. That is the, uh, the lines will be pair of straight lines will be real and distinct if h square is greater than 9. Okay. So hope this question is clear to all. Now, moving to the next one, here comes the fourth question. If one of the lines of the pair ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 bisects the angle between the positive direction of the axis. Okay, so this is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0, right? So this equation will give us a pair of straight lines passing through origin. Now the question is saying that one of the line, one of the line of these of this pair of straight lines bisects the angle between the positive direction of axis. So one of the line is, one of the line, okay, one of the line is what one of the line is y is equal to x, right? Because this is the line, this, this y equal to x line 
bisects right bisects the angle between the positive direction of axis okay so we came to know that the one line of one line of this pair will be y equal to x okay so if you see its slope is slope of this line is how much slope of this line is 1 right and for this for this uh, second degree homogeneous equation we know one relation right so this will be m1 plus m2 is equals to minus 2h upon b and and one more thing m1 into m2 where m1 and m2 are the slopes of the pair of straight lines m1 into uh, m1 into m2 is how much a by b so here if you see one of the slope of the lines is 1 so i am taking that as 1 and the other slope as m so 1 plus m is how much minus 2h upon b okay and here if you see uh, 1 into m will be a upon b okay so from here we get the value of m as a by b right and uh, we can put the here we can put the value of m here so let's check it whether i am doing correct or uh, is there any mistake okay let's uh, put the value of m here so it will be 1 plus a by b is equals to minus 2h upon b let's take b uh, lcm here so it will be a plus b is equals to minus 2h upon b okay so this b and b gets cancelled and we got this a plus b is equals to minus 2h so i think this will be the answer a plus b is equal to 2 mod of h or a plus b is equals to minus 2h so yeah it's there in the option b so i think this will be the answer okay so it's a simple question only since we know the slope of one of the lines right so we from there we uh, found out the slope of the other line and <coughs> on comparing these two uh, equations means on analyzing these two equations we got the value of m on solving these two equations we got the value of m okay so this relation we are getting a plus b is equals to minus 2h so hope uh, this is clear to all now moving to the next question this question number five it is saying if the slope of one of the lines uh, given by a square x square plus 2h x y plus b square y square is equal to zero be three times of the other then h is equals to okay so same concept we will be using the given uh, equation is a square x square plus 2h x y plus b square y square is equal to zero now we uh, we are already aware of the fact that uh, this will represent a pair of straight lines okay whose slopes are m1 and m2 so we are having one relation between m1 and m2 that is the sum of uh, this m1 plus m2 will be how much minus 2h upon b and the product of this m1 and m2 will be a upon b okay so okay don't write uh, a and b here in so what can we do because a and b is already there uh, what we can do here we can write it as capital b okay capital b and we can write it as capital b a upon b so m1 plus m2 here will be uh, minus 2h now who is playing the role of this b it is b square basically and who is playing the role of a a is a's role is being played by a square and b's role uh, being played by b square okay now m1 is equals to it is saying that the slope of one of the line is three times the other so let me take let m1 is equal i am taking the m1 as m so our m2 will be how much it will be three times the other so basically it will be 3m 
so from the first equation this is our first equation this is our second equation so from uh, one if you see what we get m1 plus m2 means 4m is equals to minus 2h upon b square okay and from two if you see what we get uh, 3 into m square 3 times m square will be equal to a square upon b square okay so if you see from here we get the value of m as minus 2h minus 2h upon 4b square okay now what i will do i will put this value here put the value of m here so i will get 3 times m square m square means this 4h square 4h square upon uh, this uh, 16 right 16b square this will be our m square okay so 3 into m square and that will be equal to a square upon b square okay so b square b square will get cancelled out so b square b square will get cancelled out but uh, we should have the b also okay in the final if you see let's check whether we have done it correctly or not so this this is our equation okay a square x square plus 2 h x y plus b square y square so minus 2 h upon p the uh, sum of the uh, slopes will be minus 2 h upon b so minus 2 h upon b square and m1 m2 is a upon b that is a square upon b square okay so from here if you see 4 m will be equal to minus 2 h upon b square and uh, our m will be minus 2 h upon 4 b square and this the product m into 3 m square so 3 m square will be equal to a square upon b square now we are putting the value of m here okay okay so this will be 4 h square and 16 b ka power 4 aa jayega na yahan pe it will be b ka power 4 and 3 m square that will be equal to a square upon b square so i think uh, what we need to find we need to find the value of h okay so this will go four times and we are having the h square the value of h square is coming out to be 4 times b ka power 4 a square upon this is 3 upon 3 upon b square right so this is nothing but 2 b square a square upon 3 because this b square will cancel it so 2 times b square not 2 times no 4 will remain as it is so 4 into b square a square upon 3 okay so the value of h will be coming out to be under root of this thing 4 b square a square upon 3 that is nothing but plus minus 2 by uh, root 3 a b right so this will be our value of h 2 upon root 3 a b with plus minus sign so it's there in option c and option d okay so both will be correct i think so option c and d is correct for this question <clears throat> now what we have done here we have uh, used used the uh, known information that the sum of uh, roots of the equation sum of the sorry sum of the slopes of the straight lines will be equal to minus 2h upon b and the product of the slopes will be equal to a by b okay now this is our question number fifth now moving to the next question this is our question number six the question is asking to find the separate equation of the two straight lines whose joint equation is given by this so the joint equation of straight lines or the pair of straight lines equation is given as a b into x square minus y square plus a square minus b square into x y this is equal to zero so if you open the bracket what we will have a b x square okay and uh, here if you see it will be a square x y minus b square x y and this will be 
माइनस ए बी वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी वाई स्क्वायर ओके सो आई हैव जस्ट ओपन द ब्रैकेट एंड एक्सपेंडेड दिस इक्वेशन सो इफ यू सी वॉट वी कैन टेक कॉमन हियर वी कैन टेक एक्स कॉमन हियर फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स सो वी विल बी हैविंग बी एक्स प्लस ए वाई राइट बी एक्स बी एक्स since we are taking ax common so bx will be there and then ay will be here and if you see we can take by common from these two terms so what we will be having we will be having bx plus ay right that is equal to 0 now bx plus ay into ax minus by equal to 0 so basically this will be the equation bx plus ay will be equal to zero will be the first equation and this ax minus by equal to zero will be the second equation of the line if you observe here if you observe here what is the slope of this line the slope of this line will be minus b upon a right and what will be the slope sorry don't write it as y i am wanting to uh, make the slope and what will be the slope of this line it will be basically a upon A upon B, right? And m into m dash is coming out to be what? Uh, this is coming out to be minus one, right? So this is the same case. Uh, same case what we have done in the first question. If you observe here, if you observe here, uh, the coefficient of x square is a b, and the coefficient of y square is minus a b, right? So a here is a b, and uh, b here is minus a b. So a plus b is coming out to be zero. so uh, obviously the pair of your straight lines will be perpendicular to each other so that is not the uh, asked information the information was like the question was like write the equation of the uh, lines so this will be our equation this is just to add like the slope since the slope of this is coming out to be the product of the slopes of both these lines are minus 1 that we can see here in the uh, equation of the pair of straight lines joint equation right because in the joint equation the coefficient of x square and y square the sum of coefficient of x square and y square is coming out to be zero okay so this is just the additional uh, information that is not asked in the question now coming to the next question find the coordinates of the centroid of the triangle whose sides are uh basically this equation will gives us the two sides and this equation will give us the third side so we need to find the coordinates of the centroid of the triangle so basically for finding the coordinates of the centroid we have to uh, find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle okay so if you see this will be 12x square minus 20xy plus 7y square is equal to 0 so this equation this equation will is giving the pair of straight lines that pair of straight lines will be the two sides of the triangle and one third side is giving as 2x minus uh, 3y plus 4 equal to 0 so basically the third side is this the third side is given 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 and from this equation we will get the two sides so what we can uh, what we can do here how can we write the equations individually so 12 into 7 will be 84 84 can we split the middle term 84 means 14 and 6 yeah we can do it so this will be 12x square minus 14xy okay minus 6xy plus 7y square is equal to 0 so if you see we can take 2x common here so taking 2x common we will be left with this 6x minus 7y okay and here we can take y common so 6x minus 7y equal to 0 yes so our equation of lines is 6x minus 7y equal to 0 and 2x minus y equal to 0 now uh, for finding the coordinates of the centroid we need to have the coordinates of the vertices so what i will do i will solve these equations okay i will solve this side this 6x minus 7y equal to 0 and this third side 
that is uh, 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. So from here, I will get the coordinates of one of the vertices. And from here, on solving this 2x minus y equal to 0 and 2x minus 3y plus 4 equal to 0, we will get the second coordinate. And obviously, the third, uh, third vertices will be the our origin since these two lines are passing through the origin that is 0 comma 0. So solve it. What we can do, uh, we can multiply it by 3 and then subtract it. So 6x minus 9y and plus 12 equal to 0. Okay. Now I will subtract it. So it will be minus 7y plus 9y that is 2, 2y minus 12 equal to 0. So from here we get the value of y as 6. Once we get the value of y, we get the value of x as 7 into 6 uh, will be 42. So x will be 7, right? So our x will be 7. Now on solving this, what we will get? Okay, we can subtract it uh, directly. So 3y minus y, that will be 2y. Okay. So 2y minus 4 equal to 0. So value of y is 2. Once we get the value of y, we get the value of x as how much? 1, right? So this is one of the vertices. This is one of the vertices and the third vertices is. So suppose this is our triangle ABC. Okay. So suppose this is our triangle ABC. So the vertices will be, this will be definitely our origin. The second vertices will be 7, 6 and the third vertices will be 1, 2. Now the centroid, we need to find the coordinates of the centroid. So centroid will be the coordinates x1 plus x2 plus x3, 0 plus 1 plus 7 by 3 and the y coordinate will be 0 plus, uh, 0 plus 2 plus 6 upon 3. Okay, so this will be 8 by 3, the x coordinate will be 8 by 3 and our y coordinate is also coming out to be 8 by 3. So this will be the coordinates of the centroid. Okay. <clears throat> so is this is what asked in the question. Find the coordinates of the centroid of the triangle. Yes. So this will be the coordinates of the centroid. Now coming to the next question. This is question number 8. If the lines this ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 be two sides of the parallelogram and the line lx plus my equal to 1 be one of its diagonals. So, so that the equation of the other diagonal is given by this equation. y into bl minus hm is equal to x into am minus hm. Okay. So, ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. If the lines be two sides of the parallelogram. So, basically, these are the pair of straight lines passing through origin. So, we can do one thing. We can make a rough sketch for this. Okay. So, this is our y-axis. This is our x-axis. Now, I want to draw this uh, pair of straight lines. So, how can we draw? So, let me draw in this way. And it means this is our parallelogram and this is our diagonals. Okay. So this is point O. Let me call it as A, B, and C. Okay. And uh, let me call this as M. The uh, the where the diagonals are intersecting is point M. So since this uh, O A B C is a parallelogram. So basically diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We all uh, are well aware of this fact. Now the equation of OA, okay, the equation of OA and equation of OC, we can write from here. So if we need to write the equation of OA, it will be of this form, y equal to m1x, okay, and equation of OC will be y is equal to m2x, okay. 
<clears throat> and uh, where we are aware that where we are aware that uh, m1 plus m2 is equals to minus 2h upon b and m1 into m2 is how much a upon b okay we are aware of with this and uh, what we can do basically we have to write the equation of the other diagonal okay so equation of ac is given basically if you see the equation of ac is given as one of the diagonals equation is given no so equation of ac is given as lx plus my uh, minus one equal to zero so this is the equation of one of the diagonals okay so we can do one thing we can solve no we can solve this oa with uh, this ac and we can solve this oc with ac so can so that we can have the coordinates of this a and c so basically i want to know the coordinates of this a and c because by knowing that i can have the coordinates of m because m will be the midpoint of this a and c and once we will have the coordinate of m and we are readily available with the coordinate of O. So coordinates of O and M is known to us, then we can easily write the equation of the second diagram. So this is my motto. So what I need to do, I need to solve this OA, OA and AC. I need to solve the OA and AC, OA and AC. So how can we do? Is there any uh, relation given between uh, this M1 and M2? Like the two sides of the parallelogram and the line, this be one of its a diagonal. So that the equation of other diagonal is this. Okay. So let's try to figure it out. So I need to... I'm going to solve this OA and OC. Let's uh, see what's what's uh, coming out from this. So I'm solving this OA and AC. So equation of OA is uh, y is equal to m1x. So I will put in the equation of AC. So it will be LX plus M. In place of Y, I am going to put m1x. Okay, m1x. Uh, then minus one equal to zero. So from here, from here, we can have the X coordinate. X L plus M M1, right? I'm taking X common. So L plus M M1 is equals to one. So X is coming out to be one upon L plus M M1. Okay. So once we get the value of X here, what will be the value of Y? Y will be nothing but M1 times X, right? So M1 upon M1 upon L plus M M1. Okay. So this will be the coordinates of point A. This will be the coordinates of A. Why coordinates of A? Because I am solving OA and AC. No? So this will be the coordinate of A. Now in the same way, what I am going to do, I will solve OC and AC. Solving OC and AC. So here also what I will do, I will do put the equation of means put the substitute the value of y in the given equation of diagonal. So Lx plus m into y, y is m2x in this case, m2x is equals to 1. So again, I will take x, uh, what we can do, we can take x common from these terms, it will be L plus L plus mm2, okay. M, M2 upon, no, 1 upon L plus M, M2. So this will be the X coordinate and what will be the Y coordinate? Y coordinate is nothing but M2 into this thing. So M2 upon L plus M, M2. So basically this is, this is the coordinate of, this is the coordinate of our B. Is it okay? This will be the coordinate of B. Now, once we are aware with the fact that the coordinates of A and, sorry, not B, it will be the coordinate of C. It will be the coordinate of C. So once we are having the coordinate of A and C, we can simply find the coordinates of our point M. Right? So coordinates of point M will be how much? 
coordinates of m will be x coordinate x coordinate will be x coordinate will be half times okay so half times this this thing or we can write x1 y1 and i can write this as x2 y2 okay so x1 plus x2 means 1 upon uh, l plus m m1 okay and 1 upon l plus m m2 right this will be the x coordinate and what will be our y coordinate y coordinate will be half of half of this y thing uh, means m1 upon l plus m m1 and plus m2 upon l plus m m2 okay is it okay now having known this let me let me write the coordinates of m as a comma b so basically this is our a and this is our b right this is our a and this is our b <clears throat> so what we can do now our target is to write the equation of this ob okay so definitely ob will be of this form ob equation of ob if you see equation of ob ob will definitely pass through the origin so the equation of this will be y is equals to uh, mx okay where m is what the m will be m will be y is equal to m what will be the m what will be the slope of this it will be b upon a right b upon a into x now this b upon a is known to us why because b is given by this equation and a is given by a, this equation so putting the value of this b upon a you can simplify this thing uh, you can simplify this b upon a ratio and you will have the equation of the OB. This will be the equation of OB. So uh, take this ratio, find this ratio B upon A, and you know the value of B and A. So definitely you will be able to figure it out and put this value here in this equation Y is equal to MX. It will be our equation of uh, this equation of OB. Okay, so hope this is clear to all. Now, uh, moving to the next question. This is our question number nine. Question is asking to find the condition that one of the lines given by ax square plus 2hxy plus b square equal to zero may coincide with one of the lines given by this equation a dash x square plus 2h dash xy plus b dash y square equal to zero. So, both are basically giving us. Both are the giving uh, giving us the equation of pair of straight lines. So ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. Okay, This is one homogeneous second degree equation. And the second homogeneous second degree equation is a dash x square plus 2h dash xy and plus b dash y square is equal to 0. Now, this also gives us a pair of straight lines passing through origin. This equation also gives us a pair of straight line passing through origin. Now, the question is saying one of the lines of this, of this pair of uh, equation and one of the lines of this pair of uh, straight lines coincide, means they are basically same, same. So, one of the lines of this equation and one of the lines of this pair of equations are same, okay? Find the condition. So if that is the case, what will be the condition? Find the condition that one of the lines, this may coincide with one of the lines, uh, one of the, may coincide with one of the lines given by this. So what we can do, we can assume the line to be y is equal to mx. Right now, we can do that because that line will be definitely passing through origin. So I am saying one of the line of this is, y is equal to mx and one of the line from this uh, second equation is y equal to mx. So definitely this equation should satisfy both equation one and two, right? So what I will do, I will, uh, I will put the value of y as mx in both the equations, okay? 
So it will be a x square plus two uh, h x in place of uh, oh, y. I will put x m x right, and here I will put y into m square x square is equal to zero. So this is from one, and similarly from the second equation, what I will have from the second equation, I will have this thing. Uh, a dash x square plus 2h dash x into y in place of y I will put mx and uh, this b dash and m square x square is equal to 0. Okay. So uh, on simplification means on sim after simplification we will have this as uh, ax square plus 2hm x square. Okay plus uh, b m square x square is equal to zero. So x square, if you take common, you will have b m square plus 2 h m plus a equal to zero. And similarly, from this second equation, from this second equation, we will have everything is same, no? So it will be come, it will be in the same way. It will be b dash m square, okay? Plus 2 h dash m, and plus a dash is equal to zero. Okay, so no need to write this. By observation, we can say if this is coming for the first equation, this will be the our for second equation. Okay, so this will be b m square from this uh, from this third. We can say from this third we can say b m square plus two h m plus a equal to zero. And from this fourth equation, we can say b dash m square plus 2h dash m plus a dash is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have to solve this. So we can use the concept of our cross multiplication. So it will be m square upon this, uh, what it will be there, 2h into a dash. Okay. m square upon uh 2h into a dash okay minus 2h dash into a that will be equal to this minus m upon hmm, what it will be there b into a dash b into a dash b into a dash minus a into b dash and that will be equal to that will be equal to 1 upon How much b into 2h dash or 2h dash b 2h dash b minus 2h b dash 2h b dash okay so from here we can say our uh, if you take a minus common from here so a b dash or uh, let me write in this way Let me write in this way, this m square upon this two, if we take common, what we can get, what we can have uh, 2h or h a dash, okay? Or let it be as it is. So 2h a dash minus 2h dash a is equals to one upon 1 upon 2h dash b minus 2h b dash and uh, this will be our m upon b a dash minus a b dash or uh, let me take a negative sign common here so that it will be cancelled from the numerator and denominator so a b dash minus b a dash okay that will be equal to 1 upon 2h dash b minus 2h b dash. So what we need to find, we have to, from here, if you see the value of m we are getting, no? so after uh, getting m, from here we get a m as a b dash minus b a dash upon 2h dash b minus 2h b dash. Is this what we require to prove? Okay, the condition question is asking to find the condition. Okay, 
so basically our slope will be this no so we can put the value of m here we have got the value of m we can substitute the value of m here and we will get the uh, we will get the condition because uh, our target is to eliminate m no because in question nowhere uh, there is m we have assumed the line to be y equal to mx so we can uh, eliminate this m by putting the value of m in this equation so uh, whatever you get that will be the uh, required condition so i think this is the last question for this exercise so anyhow we are done with this exercise one so uh, very soon uh, we will be back with the uh, next exercise so till then uh, tata goodbye take care